Hey guys, it's Shade from Theme Co. bringing you another video of their creative column series. In this video, I will be showing you how to add a zoom in and out background image hover effects to your columns. This is actually very easy to implement by using the background image option that is native to the builder, and we'll further style it by adding a few lines of CSS code to make the hover effect work. So let's hop into the builder and let's get started. So I got here my column where I put some elements inside it. So basically this is just a section with one row and four column. And for this section, I have disabled the global container and set the gap with the zero so that there's not going to be any space between the columns. As for the column content, I have a headline element, a button element where I just added a plus sign and then some gaps in between and then a button element. There is nothing really tricky about this setup. This is very basic. What you just have to note is I have set an image background to the column. Here I have the background lower layer, which is set to the image, and then the upper layer, which is set to a kind of a, an opaque color. This is actually around the black shade. And I decreased the opacity so that this would make our text more readable. And it will make our column's background image a bit darker. And as for the button as well, um, the normal setup of the button is you'll have the icon and then the text. So that is the text setup and then the graphic setup. And to change the order where you have the text and then the icon, you just have to uh, enable the content flex box option to row, then enable reverse. So that's the default and enabling the reverse option will do this. So basically you just reverse the order of the contents inside this button and you enable the flex box reverse. And that's it. And from here, we're going to continue our setup so that we could add the zoom in and zoom out hover effect to our background image for this column. Another thing we need to note is we're going to apply the same thing to our columns. So we could just set classes to our column like we did in our previous video. And then from there, add the custom codes to our uh, content CSS for this one because this is just for this page. Remember, you could add the CSS to the global CSS as well, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna make use of the content CSS. So let's add the zoom in and zoom out hover effect to this column. So the first thing we need to do here is to assign a class to our column. We could do that by clicking on the column Customize, and you get the class option. For this column, we're going to use interactive column class. Next, let's try to add a hover effect to this button element. What we want to do right now is to initially hide it and have it displayed when you hover to the column. So we have to find a way to target this using CSS classes. And to do that, let's assign a class to the button Customize, oops, click on a button and go to customize. And here I already have it assigned as the icon class. So let's go to our CSS content and target this button element. Since it is inside a column where we assign the interactive column class, we could write it this way, interactive column and icon. To hide it initially, we can make use of the opacity CSS property and set it to zero. And now you're not seeing the button element anymore. And to have it appear when we hover to the column, you can write the column class, put in the hover pseudo selector, then target the icon. 
then just set the opacity back to 1. Now that we added these codes, if we hover to our column, you could see that our button appears. Initially, it doesn't show up because of the opacity set to 0, and then upon hover, there is the opacity set to 1, thus having this effect. Another thing that you might notice, if we hover to our button element, you can see that there is a slight delay. This doesn't really happen commonly, but for this setup, it does because there is a default transition effect to the button element that is in the integrity stack. However, we could control the transition effect when we hover to our column. We can make use of the transition property that is available in CSS. So that is transition, we specifically target the opacity property, the time that it will take for this transition to complete, and then the easing effect. So adding this would have this effect to our button element. As you can see, it looks a lot softer because of this code. Now let's proceed to the next part, which is to add that zoom in and out effect to the background image of our column. First, we need to determine the class that is assigned to the background layer so that we'll be able to write the custom CSS for that effect. We actually have several videos in our channel that shows you how to target the background layers through CSS, but let's quickly see how to do that here. So let's save this first. Go to the front end, right click, inspect. Then let's find our background layer. That should be inside our section, which is here. Then inside a column. And here it is, it's XBG. So we could just copy this class and exit this. Then write the interactive column class. And XBG. Since we are trying to zoom in the background layer on hover, so let's add the hover pseudo selector here. And to zoom in, we can make use of the transform CSS property using the scale value, and let's say we'll scale it to 1 or 1.5. There we go. The zoom effect looks pretty harsh. So to soften that one, I could just copy this and there. Get rid of the hover pseudo selector. And let's copy the transition property. But in this case, we're not gonna be using opacity since we are doing the transition for transform. So change that to transform. Now, when you hover, you will see that effect. However, it is very noticeable that you will see the background layer going outside the column container. To solve that, we could add another CSS code to our interactive column so that anything that overflows or goes outside a column area will not be shown. For that, we can make use of the overflow hidden. So now you cannot see the overflowing background image that gets zoomed. So let's save this one. And a quick way to replicate this setup to the other columns is just to right-click, copy, paste, and then everything that's copied over, paste, and paste. And you can just simply change the 
background layer of the columns. And then you can do it to the other columns as well. So that's it. With just this very simple CSS codes, we're able to add that zooming in and out effect to our background layers in our columns. So that concludes the fourth installment for the Creative Column series. In this video, you've seen that it doesn't really take a lot of custom CSS to achieve this hover effect to your columns. As usual, there is a link to the gist that contains the code that are used for the CSS in this tutorial. Feel free to copy and paste the code and put it in your setup. We hope this video helps, and please feel free to leave your comments or questions in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Thank you.